we have been saying we want to become one of united nation security council members but it's not happened and it doesn't seem to be happening so what are your thoughts on that will there be a day when one day we will become a unsc member a full time member permanent uh, member with a little bit of good policy and luck in the next uh, 20 or so years definitely our economy will rise to a level where possibly we may be made a member but today china is going to oppose us my point is very simple find out who your friends are by go asking for a vote uh, in the general assembly for india to become a permanent member i think we'll have a majority there uh, 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 possibly a good majority if our if our so called friends in the unsc support us france britain united states have said they support india russia supports india let all of them go and 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 campaign among these countries and let's have a vote and at the end of that process let the security council vote so that we know who is with us who is against us i know china is going to veto us and then that will remove a little bit of the romance that some people still have about china so my point is let us not be afraid of confronting our so called partners with choices let us show substantively whether uh, you know the your friend or foe in the case of our, our conference after the conference what happened there was no reaction in the muslim world there was no reaction among the muslims in india it was another conference it was ignored completely ignored so the point is many of our fears are actually ghost fears we are worried about things that do not exist because we have created constructs in our mind that do not exist that possibly belong to the past and not and uh, not the present so i think it's very important look reality in the eye be confident as has correctly been said by ram and by nanda be confident be aware of your strengths and ensure that your weaknesses are dealt with in one way or the other including with uh, other countries i again end by saying this decoupling opportunity tech in particular is separating into a uh, china controlled tech and us controlled tech the us controlled tech cannot remain in china in 3 or 4 years time no one is going to buy any high tech equipment if it's produced in china or in a chinese satellite like pakistan it's not going to happen it can come only to india for that you have to have policies signaling and a mindset so i'd like to say i stand four square behind Uh, both ram and nanda and i pray that this particular conference which i think has you know uh, is an independent conference an independent minded conference and that independence of mind and freedom of spirit is the only thing that can ensure that india become a 5 trillion economy hopefully by 2024 and a 20 trillion economy there's nothing holding us back except if i may say so the vestiges of a colonial system a colonial mindset a colonial attitude that have long passed its expiry date expiry date was 15th of august 1947 today we are in january 2021 and it's still not expired 2022 sir yes i'm sorry 2022 yes. I, i didn't want to be <laughs> you know <laughs> 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 <laughs>